What's up guys, welcome to episode 3 of this go-kart build where we are turning our black pull cart, the black mamba, into a 75 mile an hour drag cart. We have to remove our old wheel hubs that are uh, pretty bad. Oh yeah. A lot easier. Looks like they put some lock thread on something. There was so much play and it wasn't locked on the axle. Boom! That's what the old hub looked like. It's scary. New wheel hubs here. Go Power Sports. New. Old. Yeah, buddy. The hub's not really setting flush on the inside. It's resting on these uh, bolts. I'm guessing this is a split rim setup. So I might just have to shave those down on the ends. Set this flush. That way it doesn't come undone. They got it enough thread but we'll see hate to lose a wheel got one back wheel done took forever yeah, these three washers in this old looking hub see where the bolts were they look like they smashed it down in there but... alright guys we got the motor removed finally so we can start rebuilding our back axle here. We're gonna fix some of these uh, axle collars. Put them in the right spot. We're going to fix. This right here is funny looking. Look at this, this is that nail I was telling everybody about. This is what we've been driving on. This nail has been holding our wheel. How crazy is that? Look, we have axle collar there. I'm just redo all of this. Alright, guys, what's going on? Um, today we are going to try and finish this axle here. I was going through and fixing some of the keyways that were uh, pretty damaged. I had one that was too small, and this hub kept slipping. Going to fix some of these flanges fix this piece here and try to get this hub off um, this nose on there pretty good I don't have the right sockets to fit the other end but I'm gonna try to make something up to fix it and then I'd like to work on some other projects on this go-kart uh, trying to figure out how to line up some brakes fix that throttle uh, it's pretty chilly out today I don't have the exact temperature right now, but I got me a little uh, heater set up. It's not working that great, but it's something. So I'm going to remove this motor so I got more room to work. Have it sitting outside. It might do some work on this too. In the last video, we lost some uh, some bolts that holds on the throttle. We lost our choke lever. Uh, so yeah. Pretty exciting. All right. All right. Whatever. 
we're not going to use the bearing. We're just going to. Set the flange in there. Like that. It looks like that's what they did in the old time. I can't see, but there's like a a gap there. You can see where it's sitting on the mounting bolts for the the wheel. Get all that dirt and grime out. All right, guys, we already got the second wheel off finally. I had to go to a parts store and get a uh, new socket. It's, a, it's like an inch and an eighth. But this hub's already on. So now all we got to do is take off this old hub, which got it halfway started. All right. So basically what I'm doing is I can't get a socket in there on that hub or where the bolt is for the hub so I'm using some channel locks then I'm taking a 12 metric and I'm going to break it loose The way they put them in there, I don't know. So if you look where we're going from, on our uh, new hubs to our old hubs, here's our old ones. And this is where we're going to. These are the ones from Go Power Sports. It's a big difference. So, but I just gotta put this new hub on. Oh man, let me tell you, where before we had so much slippage, the rear end. I guess I should clean up that tire. Mm -hmm. So hardware and parts this came with the kit too. Just kind of.
Look at that. No play whatsoever. Solid. It's going to be so nice. All right, hit the other side. Oh. All right, hold on. This one can come back. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the day. I know we didn't do a whole lot, but it's extremely cold out. I just got to shave down one side of these uh, bolts in here to where the hell will fit flush. The other one had round head on it instead of standard ones but we also uh, fixed a lot of problems with this axle it had a lot of damaged uh, keys on the axle and the keyways uh, we set the sprocket in tightened it down put its own little keyway in there added this little collar here to keep the axle from sliding so we fixed a lot of you know problems this axle had so there is no rattle whatsoever on it so it's good but we're gonna finish it we're gonna call it a day right now and then we'll finish in the next video we'll finish up this uh, hub and get this axle back on and focus on some front brakes or back brakes I thought about using this bracket here and tying in this brake band but it wouldn't reach the axle without overstretching it so I could probably just weld something up right here or drill into the frame I don't care I can drill into this plate I might do that but then I know the brakes have to sit like this I'm pretty sure so they pull so I don't know I really can't do that part you guys just let me know but that is it for now we're going to close up shop, pack everything up, get this whole uh, work area straightened up, and uh, check out those parts from Go Power Sports. Uh, those rear hubs, I'll drop a link down below. And also, check out a. This is something I've been trying out to get rid of the whole Rockstar energy drinks and whatnot. It's these uh, mini green energy pouch. It's what I've been using for all the videos. Don't have to worry about taking drinks and spilling them all over. Let's see if I get one of these open. They're basically just uh, little bit pouches you put in your mouth, like a little dip pouch. And that's about it. They last about 30 to 45 minutes. So yeah, that is that is it, guys. Um, I'm gonna finish up that axle look at doing some brakes because we're gonna need some brakes once this thing gets a little faster and I like to throw these big guys on the back these are off the, the drift cart so look at the size comparison on that these came off the drift cart these are what we have on there right now let me know if you guys want to see those on the back these some like mean slicks I mean they make it an official drag cart too It'd be kind of cool also, we were considering on putting this Six Sigma jet kit on there, a little, little nitrous kit. So we could add that. It only works at high RPMs, which we'll have. We got a lot of uh, these little refills. Basically, you unscrew the bottom of this, put that in there, and the little pin punctures the inside of it there. And you get probably a good four second shot, eight second shot. But it's pretty fun. So yeah. That's about it. Alright guys, stay tuned for the next video. Peace.